Welcome, my name is Tetsu Claw. I'm here to do my 4.1 Abyss, Floor 12, 3 character challenge, 3 characters per side, and max stars. Uh, for the first half, I think I'm going to do my Hyper Bloom team, because that's usually pretty trusty in these kind of things. Now, with the Seahorse at the beginning, I will have to use Nahida a lot more to try to break its Electro Shield so I can actually do damage to it. And once I get that shield broken, I should be able to drop it fast. And I'll do a my... Main Yamiko in second half. Now, these Parabus Mages can be annoying, but there is actually a way to get them grouped up, so you can actually better take care of them. And I'll actually be showing you that. I'll get the burst damage. Get with me! Scarily going here. Okay, now it's gonna do its thing where I break these. Now it's time to drop this thing fast. There we go, it's down. Okay, time for some Oonga Booga on Rift Towns. Right here. Right now. They're not gonna do much to this team. Seems like an emergency. The wind knows me. Broad time. The birds call. Nothing lasts forever. Right here. Right now. The statue was one with nature. Shut up. First on him next. Fresh totems. Kazo's turn. One with wind and cloud. Mind the side effects. I gotta save my burst for the mages. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Okay, come right to the wall. And all three teleport right here. Emerge right now. Emerge. The wind knows me. A sight to behold. Right now. Get a burst on them. The statues. Clouds high. The birds call into the wind. That's two of them that have their shields Emerge. broken. Right here. All three. One with nature. And that's how you deal with those things. With Abyss Mages, when you go to uh, fight them and you got them all spread out, if you move far enough away from them, they will automatically teleport to a space roughly in front of you. So if you want to group them up, just if you can get to the edge of the room or something like that, they'll all uh, trigger their teleport and they'll all bunch up right in front of you for easy killing. The best way to deal with uh, this mages. I think I'll go with energy recharge here. A bond is strong. Share me on it. Gotcha. Teams are about to get dicey. Busted. <laughs> Stay on Kooky here so she can heal herself. And she also gets buffs from the Eda's burst. Now, this gunner is the most dangerous thing here. So if 
gonna try to focus on it here. There we go, that's done. Now we got the ice wind. Now this thing likes to knock back like no tomorrow. Right now, emerge, right here. Remember, health comes first. The wind's roasting. As one with wind and clouds. I'm always watching. Emerge, right here. Uh. Uh. A bitter pill to swallow. Right now, right here. Mind the side effects. Taking a turn for the better. One with nature. Sure. Time. The birds call. Right now, emerge. Right now. Wind strider. All right. Just trying to get my, a I'm rotation then, without swallow. getting knocked back too much. This is nothing. nothing lasts forever. Emerge. Right here. Emerge. <laughs> Seems like an emergency. There we go, it's dead. Although Kazo has no energy, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think I'll go for the attack power. Won't help the Hyperbloom team, but should be good on the Amico. She teleported right off the bat. Let her heal herself up. Now these things can one shot. I think one of them's down. Just one left. There we go. Now we have the fuel generator. Right now. Mind the side of it. Right here, right now. Oh, right here. Remember, health comes first. The birds call. I'm always watching. Emerge right now, right here. I love seeing 100k tips on you because first. The doctor was seen. Seems like an emergency. Time to go. As one with wind and cloud. Right now, right here, right now. Yeah. And it's dead. And that concludes the three character challenge. I was able to steamroll through it without any redos or retries. This abyss isn't actually all that bad. It's just having to learn how to dodge stuff. And if you're struggling, um, just try to work on uh, your team builds. Uh, knowing how the mobs behave does play a big role. A big role in uh, actually downing abyss, like knowing how you can control the mobs and get the, and uh, be able to kill them efficiently. That does help. So, best of luck and hopefully get your 36 stars.